Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Joy Abzo, if you are new here, kindly subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, so anytime I upload a video like this sort or of the other types, you can what, get a notification first and come and view it, and also, if you are not new here, thank you for coming back, and make sure you share this to your family and friends so today we are going to be learn on how to create a, a gpa calculator a simple one using excel where you can calculate your gpa and also maybe keep track of your gpa as you go from 1100 to 400 and just record it there so that you don't need to always go to a portal searching for a result but you can just have a track of it there and calculate it so this is how it works. You enter your grade points and the credit hours. And the, as you enter, it calculates everything. So 4.5, 3 credit hours. Without any loan, you have a GP of 4.5. And as you enter, the result of the lesson gets to affect it. So without talking much, let's dive into the tutorial. So to start, I'll just highlight these three for my title and merge them. And type in the title. I'll use VG GPA calculator. You can use whatever name that you want, but that's the name I prefer because BJ is mostly the common name I use for all my applications. Big Joe. Increase the font size. This is not that necessary if you don't want to style it. But I just want to create a duplicate of what I showed you before so that it will be as if I've deceived you. Alright, so with the design, I'll just green. So here I'll now put the titles upgrade course grid point this place I, I decided to name it grid point you can put whatever name that that but that place is the multiplication of the grid and the credit hours sorry credit hours is the multiplication of the grid and the credit hours that will give you the grid point and when you come here I have a place for total credit hours total grid point and as you know credit, grid, uh, GPS the division of total credit hours and what total grid point so those two variables they are very much needed and thirdly I will now come and put my grid point average and this is where the values will be entered so to get the grid point what you simply do is you multiply what is here by what is there so is you can do it manually so the formula you go to the formula by and type equal to then you just enter this you click on it or you can type it times this so a4 times b4 will give the grid point for this place and click enter and you can to use the same formula, apply the same formula throughout, you can just drag it as far as you can. But uh, de depend on what you want. And here too, so when you now come here, that's for that place. So these values are being catered for. So whenever you enter your grid, so let's say you enter grid 3, credit hours 4. doesn't calculate what wrong did I do okay 
So this place, what it has done is rather a3, a4 times b5. And this is b5. That's why. So I made a mistake there. Let me just correct it. b4. Alright. So I'll reapply this throughout. So whenever you enter, so here I enter grade 3 L5 and it adds everything up. So the more you compute, as far as you've kept it, it adds up. So there's total credit hours and the, different, the total credit hours is just the sum of all values on this line. And to do that, we'll just type in the formula. We use the sum formula to get that. So dot sum, uh, equal to sum into bracket. To add all values on the B, what you do, you use the dollar sign. So dollar B is to dollar B. That's what the dollar does. It adds everything on that line. So when I click enter, it adds everything. So we have three credit hour, four credit hour. It what? It adds them up to give you seven. You can continue doing the same thing. And the more you add 3, it sounds up to 10, 4. So whichever place in the lesson that you put, so 2 here, it what? The effects will be kept there. So it just works for all the columns. And I can just extend this to that. Since, okay, so this place to, will be C rather than uh, B. So that also sounds all the what total grade hours, grade point. That's thirteen times fifteen times twelve plus twelve will give what twenty seven, and it sounds everything up for you. So you can now to get your GPA, that's the grade point average. It's just the uh, use equal to total grade point divided by total credit hours and enter and that sounds for you your grade point so because of the values I've entered here I've not entered more appropriately that's why the grid the GPA is very low but there are some places I enter credit hours without grid so using this three grade point of three and four credit hours will give you a sum of 12 five credit hours and this will give you that so the more you compute it what calculates everything for you so the higher grades brings a higher effect on your gpa so that's just simply how you create it so we will now just come with the styling so whichever styling you wish to have on it the colors it all depends on you so i just use this color for my labeling and for the GPA itself I'll use this color and bolding the text and I'll change the decimal the listen the decimal point to two since almost every school GPA is calculated in what two credit hours uh, sorry two so you can now take this we want to lock it so that anytime you move it will move along with it so what you can do is so you go to read me set so much help me find this thing view okay freeze so when you come to view you now freeze what pin so when you freeze pin as you move down that part is not moved along so you move so the more you go down to do your calculations the gpa and the distance it's not moving along 
I think this part has not been chosen. Let me let me see. Free spin. I don't know why it levels to only the first two. Let's go and see. So, so I can just let me take these ones as the headings. Let me just format this, please. I just want them. So making, it, let me just make it a table. So making it the table makes that place what. Making it a tail makes the, those ones headers. So I now come back to the lock. And freeze it. Then let me see. Freezing it again. Hell no. So I don't know. So if you know how to what, freeze that part, so you can just leave it down there. Uh, comment session so that we'll work on that. I've run into a, I've forgotten where I've not found where you freeze that one to because it just for the first to live in the third one and I don't understand I don't quite understand why so if you know how to do uh, freeze that part or if you do as you work it works for you you can just leave it in the comment section below. So let me check the time. 12 minutes. Wow. Okay, so I just want to now add, as you can see in the one I showed you earlier, they are drop down boxes. And we are simply just going to add that one to our application. So to do that, you go to data you click on it you can just click and hold you can select the whole place if you wish then go to data and when i go to data you go to data validation then you set the validation so to set the validation you allow a list and the list you now enter the numbers you want for the list so grade points range from 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, and 5. That's for my school. We have up to 5. So if your school, your own is limited up to 4, you can just simply limit it to only, after the 4, just leave it there. And that is that. So when you click enter, you realize that at the edges of all of them, you find that there. And you can only just select to do that. And it has applied to the whole section. And also come to the credit hour and do likewise. So selecting everything. I know you know you enter up to 500 GP entry. So I just dragged it there. So data validation, allow list, and create hours, you can just, so let's start with zero. Let me just start with zero in case you are not, there's no entry there. So seven, eight, nine, ten. In case you do courses that take more than 10 credit hours, you can include them. It now depends on you to customize. So I just enter. That's it. 
for our application in case you want to extend the table to make the coloring to make your application more beautiful you can just do that so that was it for this session of the tutorial and it's a simple GPU calculator where when you enter your entries so you can enter as many as you can from level 100 to 400 if you want to customize it maybe you can create a column for where you create you'll be able to insert the course title or the course name you'll be able to insert the trimester or semester that you had it so that whenever you come you can always check and maybe do some analysis on it and that was it for this tutorial if you liked it kindly hit on the like button share it among share it to your friends and let them also get to learn about this and also don't forget to subscribe if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section below and also if you have any suggestion on to how as to how we add more features or requesting that I add more features to it you can just add it when you are done with your thing you save I'll save it in this form folder so BJ GPA calculator at any time when you exit it at any time you go to the folder and you open it the records are there and everything is intact so until then thank you very much for watching this video and i really appreciate bye